doing my layout chair for June 2020. And um, so I did about about 35. I say about because I did some pocket pages that I um, sometimes forget to count. And they're still in the album just because it was easier. So um, I only have a few of the pocket pages here. So I at least did 35. So that's awesome. That was a goal. Um, I'm filling in my monthly color sheet quite well. I'm ahead of schedule, which is what I wanted to be because there might be months where I can't do that many. So I wanted to be able to be ahead of schedule. So I'm coloring into July, which is good. Um, I'm gonna go through these um, quick. Um, if you haven't seen them, a lot of them are from being on the design team for paper issues. Not a lot of them have videos. Um, pretty soon, that will change. So in July, the plan, my channel, I'm changing kind of what I'm gonna do for my channel mid-year. Makes sense, right? Um, perfect timing. Um, starting on Wednesday, July 1st, I will be doing um, Off the Board with Pile of Papers on Wednesday and Sundays. Crystal's doing it every day again, like she did about a year ago. I think it's exactly a year ago. So that's gonna be fun. I have a whole Pinterest board. I kind of weeded through all my pins and set up a board just for July um, to pick, down, pick through. So I narrowed them down, ones that were really speaking to me right now. I might even add some more to it. And then I'm also going to start a Friday focus. Um, like I said, at least that's the plan for July. We'll see if I can get that up and running. So I'm going to have Friday focus where I'm going to focus on a category each month. Um, and it'll, it might carry through to the next month depending on if I can tackle one or two of these things each in each category depending. And then I also have a list of designers or collections that I also want to focus on. So for example, say July, we decide we're going to focus on stamps. We're going to focus on stamps and I'm going to focus on Heidi Swap because I have a ton of Heidi Swap and a ton of Heidi Swap stamps. So that might be what I do. So all month um, for those Friday um, layouts, I would use Heidi Swap and focus on stamps. One day I would do use Alpha. Another day I would do Shape. Um, background, that kind of thing, um, create an embellishment with my die cutting tools, um, do some embossing, that kind of thing. So that's what I'm going to start. Let me know if that sounds like a good idea, if that's interesting to you, and let me know if you have any ideas of things that you'd want to see me try or do. Um, I'm try I was trying to make a list of the tools I have, stamps I have, embellishments I have, knickknacks, mixed media, and paper. Those are kind of the categories. So July, August, September, October, November, December. It'll cover to the end of the year. I have way more collections um, than that. Um, Coconut Villa Studio, I have listed on here. I just thought that I'm pretty much done with mine, so we will, we will see. Oh, I have six by eight pads. Hmm. Anyway, so that is what we're going to do. So, yeah, that's the plan starting in July. Bear with me. Um, I haven't even started any of my layouts for July yet. Eh, eh, yeah, I was finishing up some other stuff that I really wanted done. So I gotta, I have to make sure I get ahead of myself so I can actually do this. Otherwise, this is going to be impossible. All right, so let's look through the layouts really quick. This is the one I just did yesterday. Um, layout for my son's album. It's just a bunch of random photos. Like when you have a newborn, you just take photos constantly. I don't know if everybody does, but we did. So I just wanted to put some of them, um, ones that were kind of in December, in um, in November, the first month he was born, just random ones. And I did two pages back to back. And those will be um, using one of the kits I had from Paper Issues. Um, and I used up this kit. I was able to disperse it now. So yeah, so that page, and I'm gonna start making piles as I go. And then this one I did for the grill skills challenge at paper issues. I don't have any pictures of grills or cars at the moment. So I figured your grill is also your mouth. So this is a uh, album or um, page about my son losing his first tooth. So I thought that was fun. And I used a swag bag. Um, paper issues does a monthly kit, sometimes two, and then also um, a swag bag, which is just like a little baggie of goodies. It's got some smaller papers in it that you can cut up and a lot of embellishments. And so that was really fun. Use that. That's going to go there. That's a 2020 paper. Um, this is just a picture of us doing um, Facebook chat 
video chat. This I just did on Sunday for my Creative Cuts Club using up my um, cut files for Creative Cuts Club. I have more coming. I did not, I feel like I didn't make a dent. So I'm hoping to do other layouts too. Hoping to make more of a dent in July and get those ones done because I have a box coming of June for sure. There might be others in there, so we'll see. That's a 2020. Um, this was nothing but the kitchen sink challenge I paper issues. They have a kit specifically made for that challenge, which is fun. It's a smaller kit. You have to use everything in the kit and then you create a page with it. So I used one of their free cut files as well and I cut up some things and yeah, it was a lot of fun to be able to do that. Like take something that everybody has and see you, the differences that people can create. Um, so that was lots of fun. A lot of new pages. Um, this was the last time we went out together as a family. It was, um, sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm going to reorganize my desk a little. 2020, okay. We took my son out, and honestly, we don't go out much out to eat, and when he was little, like, he's a boy, I don't know if, I know, um, all, all kids are like this, sorry for this glare, I'm trying to fix it, it's really dark in here, because there's a storm going on outside, so I need my artificial light, um, he's a boy, lots of energy, I know a lot of kids have lots of energy, it's hard to take them out to eat, so, <laughs> at six, we finally did, we've done it before, but, he just didn't remember it very much. We just went for lunch too, and I was perfect. We went to Boulder Tap. There was Monster Jam on a giant big screen right in front of us where we sat, and we had milkshakes for dessert, and he was like, I'm a milkshake lover. <laughs> so I had to make that the title. Um, so yeah, that was that was for the Whiskey Business Challenge um, at Paper Issues, your favorite beverage. <clears throat> I don't remember what some of the rest of these challenges are specifically. Um, I used a sketch for this one. This might have been the take five, actually. Uh, a sketch for this one that we did for Stay Sketchy, and I used the new Color Play um, collection, which I love. My son is amazing at doing puzzles. puzzles so there's that. Yeah, I did a lot of 2020 this year, which is awesome. It's my last photos of Easter because Easter was very um, unimpressive this year. <laughs> so I found some stitch. Um, some faux stitching in my stash that I used. And this was part of a kit for um, paper issues as well, but a lot of um, Chamel Never Grow Up. So yeah, I used that. And this is an old um, Coco Vanilla Studio paper and some um, field trip. So that was kind of fun. The greens all go really good together. This is the one I also did for off the board uh, at the end of this month. I still have my photo coming, but it's going to be my son's first smile. Um, so I'll put that in there as soon as the photo gets here. That goes on that album. Um, did a pocket page for more of my son's preschool graduation photos. So these are from last year. And I used a ton of this old collection. Um, what was it? I don't remember. And some old things for my stash. So I used a ton of things for my stash. And I just had a lot of fun creating this. All the colors. It turned out really good. So I did two pages of that. This was a sketch challenge or a... Yeah. Uh, scrap lift Sunday, I believe, for a paper issues. And I used a kit that I have called the Thankful 30 kit from like November or something, I think, is when they put it out. <sighs> this was a Scrap of Sunday as well, used the cut file and another kit, winter parade. Use some cute little tags. That was 2019. Another 
Creative Cuts Club cut file. I had so much fun distressing this and inking this up. And this was a, a lot of fun to um, make. This is uh, on my channel. If you want to go to the, um, the playlist, it'll be linked at the end of the video. I did this one as a video. This was a lot of fun to make. Favorite one is Mohawk Warrior, so I had to create some Mohawk. Is that going to come off? It might. We'll see. This was also, I believe this was a sketch. It was a sketch, sketch challenge of paper issues. It was never, um, not never grew up. Magical Forest. My little niece. Another Monster Jam photo, and this was a Scrap of Sunday. I am all out of Toba 12s for my Coco Vanilla Studio, so. Monster Jam tickets. This was also Creative Cuts Club cut file, this will be in the playlist as well. Did some fun with ink just to create like a cloud background, and I distressed my cut file a little bit to see you know, just to try something new to make it not look like a scientific helix because I wanted to use it. Um, and what I'm working on right now, I didn't have and I'm not going to save it forever. So I'm trying not to do that. Did some stamping. This was a sketch from Paper Issues. I think this is my favorite page ever. I love this one. I did a little bit of Distress Oxide behind all the photos in... Um, Cotton candy, I think that's what it's called. No, sugar, spun sugar, sorry. And use the new um, Simple Stories Summer Farmhouse line. This was a movie quote challenge. And I used a sketch that we had at Paper Issues. This was a sketch challenge, baby photos, my baby. This was on an angle challenge and I channeled my inner Jennifer Gagney because she did, um, we did a, a hop earlier this year, um, earlier this month for Kay's mom to scrap lift her and so this was kind of a scrap lift of her as well. But I love how this layout is crazy busy, but I love it. It's so fun. This was a Paper Issues Live. Use something old, something new. So I use an old collection from LA Studio and new stuff from LA Studio. And I love it. It's so cute. Let's see. This was another sketch. This one turned out way busier than I wanted it to. Um, it looks worse, I feel like, on video and in photos. It doesn't look too bad in person. But yeah. This was Danielle's live challenge. They, she does that every month um, at Paper Issues. Go check it out. It should be coming July 1st. She'll be live and she'll issue the challenge in her video. So it's really fun. And I used one of the sketches. Very clean, simple. Compared to the other page for her birthday. I used the free cut file to do the words. And I um, this was a sketch we had in May. My niece. This was a scrap of Sunday. Just this last Sunday. Used a little bit more of my Never Grow Up, the more deeper tones, which was kind of fun. I don't remember what challenge I did this for, but this was hard trying to get it. So I had paper that would go across on the angle, um, these strips. But I made it work and I made it happen and it doesn't look too wonky. It actually looks relatively straight. So I'm pretty proud of myself. I gotta glue these corners down a little bit better. Whoop. Creative Cuts Club and Scrap Lifting Jennifer or Kay's Mom. Ooh, some of these got flattened. Well, I guess they're not really enamel dots. It was the glitter glue. So love this one. Oh, this was just this year because I gave them to it. That's right. 
and I'm done with his preschool graduation photos. Yeah, done. Ooh, I was trapped in there. Oh, I gotta, I gotta wash you that. So this was for the telephone hop we do on at, they do at Paper Issues, which is super fun. So I participated in that. I'm gonna see if maybe I can participate in that coming up too again, but we'll see. It is busy. It is so busy, but I love it. It, it to me, it emulates my son. So, and then this was his birthday morning. Um, this was the one I did for the hop for Kay's mom. I'm scraplifting her. So, and I just love her layering and things. So I did that. So yeah, that's all my layouts. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know which one's your favorite. Um, and let me know what you think about my plans for July. And hopefully I can get my butt in gear and get those videos going. Thanks for watching. Bye.